Hey folks, welcome back to fishing. Um, let's talk a minute about barometric pressure. The um, standard barometric pressure is 29.92. We'll just say 30, just to keep it a round number that's easy to remember, 30. Um, anything above that is considered high pressure. Anything below that is considered a low pressure area. Um, the higher the pressure, the lower in the water column, the fish will end up moving. Um, look at it like um, barometric pressure to fish is a lot like the gravitational pull of the earth on us here on land. The higher the pressure, the more pressure it is pushing the fish down. And in the process of pushing that fish down, um, fish have a air bladder that helps keep them buoyant in the water. And the higher the pressure, the bigger that air bladder has to be. Just think of it like a, uh, a balloon. If you put a weight on top of a balloon, it's going to hold it down. Well, you need more gas in that balloon to get it back up to where it needs to be. And the air bladder works the same way. During high pressure areas, when you have that moving in, normally in your high pressure time, the outside area above the water is usually bluebird skies, great outside, great weather. But below the surface, it, it's pushing all of the fish down further to the bottom and the air bladder has to fill up to actually keep the fish where they're comfortable at because without that the fish will end up moving towards the bottom and um, most of your smaller fish particularly your smaller what we would consider bait fish they don't want to go down there because uh there'll be monsters down there so they fill the, the air bladder up and there's no room for them to feed freely. They already feel full because the air bladder is actually filled up inside of them just to keep them at their normal, safe area where they feel comfortable at. Because, you know, um, aside from feeding and breeding, the only other main thing that fish really worry about is um, safety. You know, trying not to get eat out there. So if they have some structure that they're normally attached to, or a ledge or you know something out there in the water that is at a certain level when that high pressure comes in they have to fill that air bladder up to get back up into that structure or further up that ledge to um to get back at where they feel safe and um that's why a lot of times during high pressure areas when that moves in, the fish bite really, really gets slow. I'm not saying you can't catch fish. I'm just saying the odds of you catching the same amount of fish you normally catch are way down. It's, it's not going to happen. But anyway, during high pressure times, look at it. Hey, if you want to go fishing, man, go fishing. Just know that you're going to have to have something that really attracts the fish to bite. If you're pan fishing, um, this is a time when you want to use something that uses a lot of heavy water displacement. You know, some of your, your, your bigger, heavier uh, lures that really kick in. Something with a, a, a bill on the front that's angled further down to where you can really use it. What I do is I'll take a deep dive bait and I'll almost work it like a jerk bait. And what I do is when that bill hits and it's supposed to go further down into the water column, I just don't reel as much. And I get it about to where I want it and I'll jerk it. And it really just, just shovels water through there. And those fish feel that. Now, a lot of times they'll be territorial. Depends on what time of the year. If this is a high pressure time during winter time, man, um, change your line on your poles uh, go watch a fishing YouTube video. <laughs> it's 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 slow out there. If if it's if it's cold weather and the water's still cold, uh, and it's a high pressure, and it's a it, and it's a full moon, man, and you got a banana in your boat. Um, sometimes it's just best to just uh, think about fishing and uh, stay at the house.